Right, so there we go. Right, this is the engine that's going to power the generator. This is a Fiat one two six six fifty cc engine. <coughs> okay, you can see uh, over the left hand side there's like a cowling which is to feed it with air and a generator. It's an alternator. I'll probably remove those because they're not going to be needed. <coughs> and I've just put the the gearbox bell housing without any gearbox in there back in place so I can attach the starter motor. Okay, and we've got the coil attached through the wiring to the plugs and we've completed the circuit down to the uh, uh, distributor. It's not really a distributor because obviously they're both coming from the coil. But it does the points and there's the... Uh, yeah. No. So uh, we've got it set up and we can crank it. Uh, where's the spanner? <coughs> so it'll crank. <sighs> So we've got it cranking, and what we're going to do then is, we need fuel obviously, because that seems to be missing. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, there's the original Fiat 126. The fuel tank is held underneath by three bolts, and it's a fuel and return system. So whatever we do, we're going to need that, even if we use like a single... Um, <coughs> uh, even if we just use a can of fuel. <laughs> But I might as well take the tank off it because, I mean, we're going to be using it, so why don't we stick the tank in it? And there's the fuel. Uh, so that's, I guess, the return pipe there, isn't it? Oh, it goes into the carbon and you got return there. So the fuel's fed in there and it's returned through here. So we'll get the fuel tank off, that'll be tomorrow's task now. And then we'll connect that up and we'll get this engine started and running. And then uh, we can drive... A generator and this is the generator we're going to drive I've got all of the uh, gizmos out now <coughs> so we now have that's the actual shaft which is uh, out of the way, which is attached to the uh, that's attached to the um, uh, the generator motor which is in there so if we spin that uh, then that will give us power from the generator. So we're going to do that, we'll attach, I don't know, something <laughs> and uh, I may well just simply use the fan belt or something for now <coughs> and then we'll uh, attach that. It's got a three phase output, we've got diodes so we can make a six diode bridge and that'll give us uh, our output power and obviously because we can vary the speed of the engine we can vary the voltage and the power. So that's what we're going to do and that's tomorrow's task to construct that uh, might involve a bit of uh, box section to create a chassis uh, and then we'll get that going then we can get the generator going which means then we can generate power uh, <coughs> I don't know how much power but it'll be at least something because that's a permanent magnet uh, set up so that means it will generate we don't need to put a electromagnet in there and excite it and effectively it's going to be the same as that, but just a blooming big one. So, uh, yeah, the fan belt might not actually cut it, but hey, we'll see. And uh, I still don't know how I'm going to attach the two together. I mean, originally, obviously, you would attach it at the gearbox. I don't know what RPMs that's going to need to actually turn. Uh, I could do some figures tonight. But, uh, yeah, so if we can get that engine working... Get it on a chassis and we'll bolt it directly to the chassis. <coughs> we could, uh, we don't need all that cowling for the cooling because uh, we could certainly rig up a fan. I mean, I've got a garden over there, I've got a garden blower which I can use just to you know provide air to cool it, but it, I don't, it's not going to get that hot. I uh, it's got no exhaust on it, it's going to be noisy as hell, which should sound ace. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and that's uh. If we get that going, get it attached to that generator, uh, all those gears obviously will be stripped away again. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get that differential out, but it has to come out somehow. Yeah, and then that gives us the power, which means then we can experiment with this. <coughs> but instead of just having it bumbling away on a 12 volt battery, we can actually increase the voltage, and obviously we can control it 
because as it draws more power it's going to draw more power from that engine which means it will slow the engine down which will reduce the voltage so it gives us a bit of a fail safe and we can always obviously if things are starting to get nasty we can always kill the engine and that stops the power but um, yeah and then that gives us effectively a hybrid because it's obviously petrol into there and then it's being controlled here and this is the output shaft which is what I'm aiming for anyway because we want this to run on a battery ultimately but having a a generator which ultimately will go on a trailer <coughs> will give us the ability to test the thing without having to buy expensive batteries you see so there's method in the madness and also I want to try and get the Arduino working so tomorrow we're gonna to be very busy which will be cool yeah yep and the good old Fiat one of these days it will have that milk float motor in it because that was the idea but the tank which you can't see but it's basically it's underneath it and it's held on by three 13 mil bolts which I can just undo and drop off and then it'll have a fuel tank and then we'll, add, we'll manufacture something with a bit box to put it all together and uh, it'll give us our trailer generator yep 